Okay, thanks for staying with me. This is part three of the yoga portion. Okay, so at this particular point, I had clients, I was happy with what I was doing, things were going in a certain direction, and all of a sudden, um, I was asked by the Holy Spirit, just like the story of Abraham with Isaac, I was asked to put yoga on the altar and to surrender and to give it up. Now, I, the, I was like, what? Okay, I'm so good at this, why, why, why? And the bottom line is, I obeyed. So at the time, whatever students I had at that particular portion, I went to all the students and I said to them, I'm gonna offer you an option. You can either switch all the yoga classes that I've been offering, and now all those classes will be Pilates and stretching and dance, or you can get refunded and I will refund your money. And that is what I did because that is what the Holy Spirit asked me to do. And I obeyed and I gave back people their money and to other people, I continued teaching Pilates, stretching and dance. Okay. And I was not teaching yoga. So this was a big change for me because it was like a habit. My body had a habit of doing sun salutations. My body had a habit of doing certain poses. And it was like, I had to stop myself like, oh no, what can I do in, in, in compare in substitution for this? What normal physical fitness stretch can I do that will give me the same stretch? And doing that really took discipline. And I'm not gonna say it was easy because it wasn't. It was a lesson that God was putting me through. And I was doing that closed doors. I was not doing that publicly. It was me doing that myself privately, okay? So I taught the Pilates classes, I taught the stretch classes, I taught dance classes. And then there was a, I want you to get in your car and drive here and go somewhere totally different. Now again, that was different for me and I was like, okay, I'm set up here in Baltimore, but now I'm supposed to go to Florida and I don't know why. And here's what I mean about listening to the Holy Spirit. I was told, pack all these bags. I packed all the bags, they were all packed and ready to go. And then I doubted the Holy Spirit. And I, when I went on this trip, which I thought was gonna be a short temporary trip, I only took two bags instead of seven bags. And as soon as I got to my destination and all these doors were open for me, guess what I needed? Those five bags that I left at home that I didn't bring with me. And then I asked my family to ship those things to me of which they didn't understand and they sent me the wrong things, whatever. Bottom line, if I would have fully listened and taken those seven bags with me, I would have had everything that I needed. But because I didn't, I didn't have all the tools and the resources that I needed. That particular event ended when my aunt died and I was then coming back to Baltimore for her funeral and for all the things that I had to be a part of for that process of receiving the different items that were bestowed to me from her death and then dealing with all those physical things as well. I returned back to Florida, but in that time lapse from her death and then coming back, the momentum was lost, just like the same momentum was lost in California. Out of sight, out of mind. People don't wait around. If you're not there, you're not in the limelight, they're moving on to the next fitness trainer. That's just the way the industry is. Okay, so bottom line, I then came back and was like, okay, what am I supposed to do now? And the answer was no fitness. Now, you have to understand, someone who has spent their entire life from the age of three doing dance, stretching, yoga, Pilates, you know, bicycling, um, rock climbing, surfing, walking, hiking, like everything about that, like to put all that on hold, like that was really hard. And I, all I was told to do is you can only just walk and hike, that's it. All the other stuff, forget it for right now. It's just focus on that. And again, I obeyed and I listened to the Holy Spirit, okay? And during that time, I focused on getting additional training as a life coach and helping people from a mental level and being trained in Bible study and Bible coaching and being led in that direction. Again, was not 
at all what I imagined myself to be or what I as Anne was trying to do. If I, if I as Anne was doing what I wanted to do, I'd still be teaching yoga because I loved it so much. But the reality is I was asked to have an Abraham moment to put yoga on the altar like Isaac and I did and I was obedient. Now, as a professional, my branding and my background was yoga girl and yoga butterfly and cosmic yogi. So those brandings of what I made for my business was under those names, yoga girl, yoga butterfly, cosmic yogi. So anything regarding fitness, whether that was yoga, Pilates, dance, or stretching was under the branding name of those names. So therefore, I continued to just use that name because I had already created a name with it. So when people see on my resume or on Facebook or on LinkedIn or whatever, and they see that I'm active or they make a lot of assumptions, okay? So I'm just bringing it all together here, okay? Right now, I am primarily a life coach, a Bible coach, a health raw vegan kosher coach, okay? And when fitness comes in, I am a fitness coach, specking yoga, I'm sorry, <laughs> saying it wrong. When fitness comes in, I am specking walking, hiking, not yoga. I am specking Pilates and walking and hiking, not yoga. But the name Yoga Butterfly is the business name that I was the umbrella of what I was teaching under all those years. And therefore that is the name that is still associated with my name. I have made the new transition to AnnHyland.com and Ann Highland Life Coaching. However, sometimes those names, Yoga Butterfly, Cosmic Yogi, Yoga Girl come up in a search with my name and then people think that I'm still doing that and then they make all these assumptions that I'm not a good you know person blah 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 whatever the bottom line is I'm trying to clear up the confusion and to make it so that you understand that I am actively a life coach and a Bible coach and a fitness coach in the realm of walking and hiking and stretching and not teaching yoga and I also am okay with Pilates I do weightlifting and weight training as well in a gym environment or an outside environment. So bottom line, I am a believer in Jesus Yeshua. I believe that he is the Lord, that he died on a cross, that he was buried, that he rose again, that he has ascended into heaven and that he is alive and living and that he sits at the right hand of the Father and that he is alive through the Holy Spirit and that I have that Holy Spirit within me and that I am protected under God's blessings because I have that personal relationship with God, our Father, with Jesus, Yeshua, his Son, and with the Holy Spirit and that I'm protected by God's angelic angels and that I am under a blessing, not a curse, okay? So, if I can be of any help to you in any of the things that I've talked about, I am more than willing to be of service to you, okay? I also just wanna point out that if you, yourself, are currently practicing yoga, I caution you to pray and let God reveal to you in a day by day, one day at a time process, what he wants you to do. Now, for me, it was a process. It was, don't do this, do that. And, you know, don't do so much of this pose, let go of that pose and do these poses. So what I'm getting at is, there is an allowance with your personal relationship with the Holy Spirit, with God, and he is going to transform you into what he wants you to be. So excuse me, I am not, I'm not sitting here saying, yes, do yoga. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that my experience is that I was asked to put it on the altar and I did. What he wants me to do with it, I will follow. I will be obedient and I will be his servant. And right now that is life coaching, fitness coaching in the realm of walking, hiking, and Pilates and dance. So that's where it is. If I can be of service, I'm happy to help you. Again, I'm going by annhyland.com, A-N-N-H-Y-L-A-N-D.com, 
and Highland Life Coaching. That is the name I'm going by. Yes, I have been associated in the past with Yoga Butterfly, Cosmic Yogi, and Yoga Girl. So I hope that helps. Have a good day, everybody.